Hi, I'm Lee Birchall and I'm MD of DB8 Designs. We're an architectural interior design practice based in Cheshire and we specialise in hospitality in the commercial sector. I'm Chris Thomas, I am Project and Properties Manager for Aspire Lounges run by Swissport GB Limited in the UK and Ireland. DB8 started working for us um, in 2018 for a build in 2019 in Edinburgh and Lee and his team brought their new concepts up for the lounge um, in the new space and a totally new look for the Aspire lounges which we've, uh, which we've, we've worked on and enhanced in the future. I think what we're trying to do really with Aspire is, you know, they brought us on board originally to um, enhance their existing established brand and we're taking it on and every job that we've been involved with Chris and the rest of his team is we're, we're, we're trying to make every job better than the last so you're still getting that intrinsic aspire feel we're not going to sit back on our laurels from the very first one we started in 2018 we'll be in 2022 soon 2023 we're going to keep improving those little little things that little, little markers in some lounges that will give you that aspire feel but things with artwork we've done in this lounge here um we're going to change on every job the artwork behind me it's on the survey it's, it's the way of me now that sh that shows that you know gives some indication of which city we're in and we'll, i think that'll be a consistent uh, element that will take us through to most lounges that we do so this is by lounge is in the new part of the terminal 2 uh, transformation project at manchester terminal 2 has been expanded it's been doubled in size there's a one billion pound spend by manchester airport group on it we've had a lounge in this terminal for ooh, 15 years um, but it is in a space that has been dilapidated now. So this was given to us as a space to create a new lounge. It's a temporary facility. It's going to be here for about four years until part two of the transformation project has been completed. Then we'll be moving into uh, a larger lounge of approximately three to 400 seats in a space that has yet to be developed. The airport originally gave us an empty shell that um, we had to really create some interest in. The trick in here really is you can create some interesting spaces. So we've had to divide it up in various areas. Uh, there's a curved space right in front of me now, which looks out onto the runway to see all the lovely planes that are out there. You know, going on the way on holiday. We've still got to get a kitchen space beyond us at the back there. A service space and a bar that's over here to my right. Um, it is quite compact, this, this side, but I think we've really solved it really, really well. Our relationship with Aspire is brilliant. You know, a really good relationship with all the Aspire team, and it feels like a real team between us and Aspire. It, the, I think it's quite seamless. You know, we we feel part of of that brand. A lot of the team think about our brand consistently. About you know, every time they visit a different lounge across the world, they're always thinking about how we can improve uh, the Aspire brand going forward. We were so impressed with DVA with what they delivered in our project at Edinburgh. It was a big project for us and it was important that we um, rolled out our new design um, to keep a standardisation across our lounges. We've also worked with DVA on the project in Luton as well. Um, this is the third lounge that we've delivered which has the same concept. DVA, depending on the space and the budget, we're able to deliver uh, what we requested. We've been really pleased with the reaction that we get from our customers about the uh, continuation of look through throughout the, uh, the, the lounges that we currently have. I suppose the best way of feeling proud about a lot of these developments that we do is when you're, you're here as a customer and you see other customers enjoying the space that you previously designed and you hear them comment on, you know, wow, I like, love how the view, you get the view on the outside or, you know, I love the lighting in here. That's the, that's the proudest moment when, you, when somebody has not been involved in the project suddenly just gives, gives, you know, gives the person the way the compliment on how the building and, and the space looks. The DVA team have been really good. They're very accommodating. They listen to the brief and they come up with plenty of ideas. Uh, in actual fact, next week, we've got a, um, a design innovation day um, that we're going to sit in front with the team from DVA Designs. And we're going to talk about what we want in the future, what they can deliver the latest trends. Um, it's not often you get that type of partnership with design companies, so I'm really happy with the, uh, the way they go around their business with us.